Lot Miner version 1.48 change lock, overclock settings, Ethereum seal, Ethereum seal plus ton, Ethereum seal plus elf. That is what we're going to have a look at today, my fellow miner. So it's a busy schedule. First up, the change lock. Change lock implemented the new LHR scheme in Windows recommended driver 512.15. Slightly improved the initial speed after startup on 510.x and 512.x drivers allowing to reach best performance faster. Made the LHR unlocker more robust against small changes in workload. These are a select few of the changes, there are a lot more, link in the description. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings. Before we get to that, please support the channel by subscribing, liking the video and sharing the video with people who would find it useful. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings. Overclock settings. Please remember to put your fan speed very high when you are mining Ethereum and Toncoin with Ethereum. The actual overclocking is easy. Try to lower your memory speed if you have stability issues. Please note that all graphic cards are LHR cards. The order will be as following, card, core, memory hive, memory windows, RTX 3050, 1500, 2200, 1100, RTX 3060, 1552, 2600, 1300, RTX 3060 Ti, Hynix Revision 1, 1350, 2100, 1050, RTX Ti, Hynix Revision 2, 1500, 3200, 1600, RTX 3070, 1125, 2600, 1300, RTX 3070 Ti, 900, 2300, 1115, RTX 3080 10 gigs, 1500, 3400, 1700, RTX 3080 12 gigs, 1500, 1700, 850. If you live in a warmer climate or you can't run at this memory speed, then just lower them. It's not the end of the world. Unlike the movie Greenland, which feels like the end of the world. Well, the movie is about the end of the world, but it is so bad that you really wish it would happen. So the movie would end a lot faster by a meteor strike directly in your face. I can say this though, the movie made me cry of pure joy when it ended. If you are a Windows user, Create a bash file based upon what you see here. Set the memory in MSI Afterburner. Go to eCell.me and create an account. That is just by entering your two wallets. If you wish, you can enter the promo code CryptoDonkeyMiner. That will give you a cashback of 0.1% and 0.25 to me. I actually tried to get them to switch it around, but it wasn't possible. Anyway, by using the promo code, you'll help me out a lot. Thank you very much. If you are a HiveOS user, create a wallet with ethereum.seal wallet. And then select the coin Ethereum and select the pool eSeal. Add the two lines as seen in extra config arguments. And then just set log core clock and memory. That is it. Then head over to eSeal.me and create an account by entering your Ethereum wallet and seal wallet. If you enter Crypto Donkey Miner as promo code, then you'll get a 0.1% cashback and I'll get a 0.25% in cashback. Unfortunately, they could not reverse it, but you lose nothing by using it and you'll support me, which I really appreciate. Thank you very much. Now let's have a look at the average results for Ethereum seal. Please note that it doesn't actually mine both at the same time. That is why there's no plus, it's a dash. Seal comes in bursts and only mines around, I think, 30 minutes total out of a total day. This is exactly the same hash rate as if you just mined Ethereum. Now let's have a look at Lot Miner's mining screen. If we have a look at the memory temperature, they are actually quite high for the RTX 3070 Ti and the RTX 3080. I prefer that they are under 90, but Right now they are actually above and that is due to us having a hot day here. I will soon start making videos about efficiency and not raw power. A seasonal change if you will, or a way for me to not actually be able to fry eggs on my graphic cards. Now let's have a look at the average reported result for Ethereum Seal plus Totcoin. 
please note that you have to times watts with 2 to get the total watts. Some may find it a bit weird that I calculate watts and efficiency this way here, but it's because I split it equally between the dual coins. It makes it easier for me to actually compare Ethereum efficiency when I mine Ethereum Ton coin and Ethereum Alephium. Now let's have a look at Lot Miner's mining screen. Again, looking at the memory temperature, they are uncomfortably high for the RTX 3070 Ti and RTX 3080. The junction temperatures are also quite high compared to Ethereum. It is possible to lower the temperatures by setting a power limit on, however, that will also hurt your results. Another way to lower the memory temperature is by lowering the memory clock. You'll get a little less Ethereum, but you should get the same amount of Tontcoin. Isn't that fantastic? Now let's have a look at Ethereum Seal plus Alephium. The Ethereum part is pretty close to what we have already seen with Ethereum Tontcoin. Overall, it looks pretty good, with the exception of the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs. If you have watched the entire video, you would have noticed by now that they are always quite low, and that is due to them using LHR version 3. LHR version 3 is like LHR version 2 with kits, so completely kill all productivity. Every time it feels like, oh now I'll get a good hash rate, the little devils come and destroy everything. That also explains the very, very bad efficiency because they need a lot of energy to keep themselves alive. And that energy is usually unhealthy energy as lots of cups of coffee and energy drinks and caffeine pills and everything else that can keep one awake and alive. So yes, don't get kids. I mean LHR3. Now let's have a look at the mining screen. I must admit I really like that I can see the junction temperature. Oh, that actually reminds me. You can now see your memory temperature in HiveOS without installing anything. Just update it. Yet again, the memory temperature is quite high. If you do mine Ethereum plus Toncoin or Ethereum plus Alibium, then keep a very close eye on those temperatures. If you have high temps and your fan speed is not at max, then put it at max. It is much better to burn a fan than burn your card. And it's actually super easy to change a fan. It's quite hard to change a GPU or memory, which is impossible. I'm quite interested in your opinion about Seal, Ton and Alephium. Please drop a comment and let me know what you think about those three cryptocurrencies. Also, what do you think about the video style? Is it frustrating? Is it nice? Is it relaxing? Is it stressing? Let me know in the comments. That is all for this time. See you in the next one.